Hey guys, Bro Black Man here. I'm going to be reacting to Supernatural Season 12, Episode 13, Family Feud. And they better have Mark's Lucifer in here. If they don't, and they just teased us just with that um, cliffhanger, yo. <laughs> I'm going to write. Yo! What was that? Damn, Mommy Winchester. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's a man, man of letters. Weapon. Nice toy. What? What's he That's doing? Job done. Is this some type of training exercise? You will call me Master. <laughs> Lucifer called Crowley Master. Everybody in that room was obviously focused on sending you back using Mother's spell. Everybody except yours truly. Oh, your essence wasn't sent back to the cage, but instead, we found your discarded vessel a few years ago. Repaired it. Improved it. Making it a fitting final home for the real you. Crowley, you're brilliant. You're smart. No. Oh, what's up? Okay, so this is Fury of Ghosts. And that's why I don't use public bathrooms. Well, take it from me. Before kids, your life is yours. Once they show up, life as you know it is over. <laughs> oh, it will yeah. be. Dearie. Are you sure that's the way this is going to uh, go? But whenever it pops out, you're totally going to love the little devil. Oh. Is that the sister? Yeah, I'm a cloud. This was a ship. Crowley's kid? Yep. Oh. Kelly Klein. She got rid of that thing. Did she now? The Winchester saw to it. Because they can always be trusted. It was in their own self interest. Huh. <laughs> Come on, you really think the Winchesters would do I such can a thing? I still feel it. Don't have them go and go and fix this mess before oh, it hatches. And now he I heard it, so imagine he's gonna we'll use that as a leverage. Uh, Oh my dad. I love that. You and I both single fathers. <laughs> um, I could use a little dad advice right about now. Really? When you let him date. This is always demon. Orders. That ain't no come. ordinary demon. Yo! <laughs> is it just a simple touch? Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> Did she just stole that line from which we'll call it? Is the Terminator? He. You don't oh, know. It's a baby boy. I. No. Kelly, the angels, the Winchesters, the good guys. They want you dead. Mm. But I can protect you. You don't want to protect her. You just want to snatch that child. I can protect your son. You look just like my father when he was young. Oh. Gavin, you mean Rowena. Your grandmother. My grandmother? She can't be alive. Well, technically, dude, neither can you. <laughs> you only came that night. I was gone. Yeah. She would have thought that you now were Now she's her. here. Taking Dear advantage God, she of must have smuggled herself aboard. It might be best if you were to disengage from them a bit. What? Disengage? This work. No. It's demanding. It's my son. What are you first. talking about? The men of letters is my family. When you hunt, Mary, you're one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> now, you might play at being a good mummy. But when you're in the thick of it, nothing but a blade in your hand and blood in the air, that's the real you. <laughs> Sounds just like Best. Dean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you really should have went to Dean with the and author, though, but we all know it. Dean's ain't gonna say nothing. And I think that scares <clears throat> the hell out of you. Go.
really think that's gonna stop a ghost. Ooh! Rock salt. Bam! Are they doing some sort of sounds? Oh, restless spirit. Yep. Here's a thing. Make thy presence known to me. You abandoned me. Oh, hell has no you... fury. Where were you? They came to scorn me oh. and mock me and worse, use me in a way no woman should be used. Damn. The other passengers. Did no one help you? Hold it, nothing. And Mistress Alloway, our teacher, she said I deserved it for throwing myself at you. Wow, that's so much shame. Teachers, they claim to love children. And then they betray them. Whoa, 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 whoa. that's against some teachers now. There's some teachers who love their children, come on. I'm looking for a fix here, okay? This is it. Get him aboard that ship. He travels with Fiona. Keeps her safe. And go to his death. That's your solution. Well, I didn't say it was the fun one, okay? Just the one, and you know it. I don't like she and to snap her fingers and get crowded to snap his fingers and let the I bones appear. Let him do what he believes is right. Damn. Marina's wife. Rowena. My next wife. <laughs> Again, she's powerful. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. right and powerful. So I'm just gonna say it. I've sort of been working with the British men of letters. Yo, she told him straight up. You uh, what? What? Oh, she was she was working with the men of letters. Uh, you know, the people who kind of like tortured you, Sam. We can learn from them. Oh yeah, torture. Another brutal. Do way. not give me the face. What face? You know the face. There's no face. That's the face. <laughs> We don't trust the Brits. You shouldn't. They're sneaky, they could knife him. So where does that leave us? Oh. You either choose us or you choose Seems them. Seems always. The boy you made me kill in order to remove the mark of Cain. <gasps> oh, that's right. That was all true for you, spewing about Gavin doing the right thing. It was the right thing. Maybe for Gavin. Certainly for me. Oh. I need to watch you suffer the loss of a child. Go, oh, go, Lena. And your mother, dear, who better to crush your shriveled heart. Mm. That was payback. Forgot about that. Talk about good episode. I was kind of afraid from the start before watching it if we were actually going to see any Lucifer and if they were just going to like, oh, we're just going to show you Mark as the returning as Lucifer though. But the way how Crowley, like, kudos to Crowley of how they kind of showed us how, you know, Mark came back. You know, they could have just said, oh, he's just simply back and we don't truly find out. But they told us how, like, when they transfer got his essence out of that president it went right into that his old vessel which they found and like we're actually fixing up brand new so it's very interesting because i'm hoping that they truly perfected the vessel i don't know if I, they probably did um mention it though because before lucifer had um you know the actor um, Mark, i can't forget his name though but his vessel before and he says like this vessel can't hold me fully it's just you know just renting it because Sam is his true vessel so you can just imagine what they had to do to like perfect that vessel and I thought Arena was possibly part of it but huh, who knows you know but it's very interesting how Lucifer was able to send uh, Aegon I think her name is or the yellow eyed princess of hell or you can say Prince, I don't know, but 
with her now guarding Lucifer's baby mama, so she's going to be basically more caring towards her than the Winchesters, because now she basically said, oh, did you just see those were angels, you know, supposed to be the good guys, and now it's going to be them, and the Winchester's going to hunt you down and kill your son. She's like, oh, I have a son, so now Lucifer's going to be a proud father of a boy. So, again, this is going to be very interesting see how powerful this Nephilim can be and raised by whomever, or even if the child's ever even going to be born. It's going to happen. Like, I don't know why people, like, this is going to, it's all, pro in my opinion, I said it's like in my comment section in the last video, I think it's just simply propaganda here. You know, angels say this individual is bad and just an abomination, we got to destroy it. But we don't truly know. I think it's just all propaganda so they can just... Just simply just again destroy it because we in I remember earlier seasons where you know Netatron found that uh Nephron before and she was just chillaxing. So again, you have freaking knights chillaxing, you, you have the knight of Hell Cain chillaxing, you have the princes and princess of Hell chillaxing. It's like even another person in the comment section was like, Wait a minute, no, isn't there like an antichrist from season what five still chillaxing? <laughs> so it's like these, you have these abominations, these people that have fears and wants to destroy, yet they're just relaxing. They really don't care for anything. So it's like, just leave them alone. Let them relax. <laughs> I don't know, if you're not going to let that happen, maybe they kind of have a little 1%, you know, right to be pissed off and maybe want to destroy the world, you know. But, oh my goodness gracious. But seriously, they really should bring back the um, Antichrist, the um, boy. Because, like, according to them, with one word, you know, things could just simply happen. For you can just say, you know, no Lucifer, bam. You know, uh, no season six, destroy that. And seven, destroy that. <laughs> just joking with people. Maybe season six and five are some people's favorites. Not my favorites, you know. But, oh my goodness gracious, this is going to be one hell of a season finale and plot, you know, just seeing uh, Mary Winchester actually admit to her sons, yeah, uh, I was chilling in action with the men of letters, I've been working with them, and they're like, what? They freaking tortured me! They almost, and, he, and like, the mother even saw how men of letters, like, treated Sam, so it's like, come on, but she kind of says, like, yeah, maybe they actually have, like, you know, a good thing here, but... Again, that's just behind the scenes, people. I think that the men, there's something up here. Because, again, if the men of letters wanted to, like, take control of America, why couldn't they do it years ago? Why couldn't they do it since season one and just actually, you know, stop the whole damn apocalypse or even worse, anything? But, no, the moment, in my opinion, the men of letters should have um, stepped in was the moment after Abaddon would start killing almost all the American men of letters and just, like, they were basically almost eradicated, except for that old man in the nursing home, but other than that, he was retired. So I'm like, oh, why didn't they appear then? Why are they appearing now? Because after D and Sam, come on, we got to admit, they had some fuck-ups. <laughs> they, like, they try to solve problems, but when they solve problems, they end up causing some other madness in the next season or so. Like, I don't know. But they could have came and helped us out so many times, but now all of a sudden, it's like they only came here, for my, in my opinion, because of the cult. They needed a weapon to destroy another potential big bad. And that big bad is going to be next season. Season 13. Because after they deal with this Nephilim and Lucifer situation in season 12. Then we're going to deal with the men of letters. It's like, okay, now that we got you guys in the fold. We're all buddy buddies. We're going to tell you about this big bad that we're trying to get rid of. And apparently the cult didn't work. So now we're going to have you guys. It's like... This, why did you guys tell us from the beginning and we could just get over with this, you know, but now you want to torture us, you want to do this and in butt though, but I don't know, it's truly a close call on what truly is with the Men of Letters, but, <sighs> but lastly, let's talk about Rowena, she wanted fucking revenge for having Crowley actually kill her favorite child, so... Just having that, she was like, and I actually forgot about that. You know, it was back when, you know, again, like you said, like removing the mark of Cain in that season. So it was like, yo, she really wanted revenge. The moment she saw it, she was like, Crowley brought him, not brought him back though, but kept him around. So she was like, yup, I want revenge for this. So like, yo, that was crazy. I actually thought that for, for a second she actually got a heart. You know, saying, you know, maybe he should go, but then it was like, 
No, I want you to suffer just like you had me. So that was ultimate payback though, but let's see what happens next episode and see how Crowley's gonna get some revenge on Rowena. But let's see if he can actually even do that because it seems that Lucifer's gonna get out and if he does, he's gonna get revenge on Crowley and then he's gonna probably, again, even go after Rowena as well. And once he has his son, like... I can't believe he even asked him for father advice about when is your date. I tell his son when he's a date, though, but oh my goodness, the power. But before we know, the um, child may even grow up and even dislike Lucifer and just smite him off the face of the galaxy. So, well, who knows what's going to happen. So, like or dislike the video, kind of blowing with truth all the episode. And if you're new, please subscribe. Why is my computer shaking all of a sudden? I'm the Brofac Man 94. I am signing off.